Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so, how's it going? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Um, <clears throat> I'm back to do a little Twin Flame in Separation reading. I did uh, put a poll up and I mean both in both languages, uh, just the Twin Flames in Separation is the way to go. Plus, what I will do about the monthly readings is I will try to do them by sign. And, but they will be trickling in, you know, so there'll be kind of a delay because if I want to continue to do the, um, the twin flame and separation videos, you know, I need time. So, you know, I'll probably start posting, start taping them like around... April 21st or 22nd and then <clears throat> all the way into maybe in the first week of of April so we'll see okay anyway I'll see what I can do I'll try to go as quickly as possible to get all of those love readings out to you and the monthly ones will be general love readings so they could be twin flame soulmate whatever will be happening your energies that I will be reading really for that month okay for april <clears throat> so that's it if you want to book a personal reading with me my email uh, address is in the description box below also um take what resonates if it doesn't resonate for you today it might resonate for you some other day um <clears throat> also my readings are timeless so maybe something before would resonate for you um mercury is now going direct so things should be getting smoother <laughs> hopefully anyway uh that and um yeah so let's see what's going on you guys we'll see if we get any even any messages from your divine masculine what he would like to say to you or what he would like for you to know he or she so when i say he i'm talking about the divine masculine energy which it is not gender you know a woman could be in her divine masculine energy predominantly and then a man could be also in his divine feminine energy so we've got the wheel of fortune so right now we've got <clears throat> just a really, things are coming through, new beginnings, just really a lucky time right now. Lots of surprises, things that you were hoping were, were to happen are finally going to happen with the Wheel of Fortune, guys. Really. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. It's so appreciated. It's so appreciated. And your comments, and your likes, and your shares, of course. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords. So we do have air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what else. Don't forget to check out your March readings. All right, let's see. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. <clears throat> so really now the focus is on gaining... Um, here. Now the focus is on gaining that, <clears throat> that stability, right? The focus is on gaining that stability, is on heading, you know, how, how best to get there, you know? How best, you know, your, your, person, your person might be thinking that, you know? How best do I get from What's the best strategy when I, I might be feeling like this? I might be feeling like passionate, but not quite ready. So how do I get there? 
how do I get there quickly? How do I get there quickly? Um, this person may be asking for help from friends or they just might be they might be willing to take a risk and you know like with the wheel of fortune it's also about taking risks you know like you're 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 spinning that wheel right so you're feeling lucky this time okay so your person might be feeling lucky this time might be feeling like all right so now i really do want to find the best way to get there to where i want to go maybe at a faster pace here you know so <clears throat> it could be that that's what I'm getting isn't that a weird message I wasn't expecting that <clears throat> that's it <clears throat> I don't know I'm not sick I'm not sick I'm not sick just like sometimes when I do readings <clears throat> my voice gets like my throat chakra or whatever it's like I want to say it's like it has to come out and it I don't know, I get like that whenever I read. It's weird. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let's get some more messages here. So divine masculine, your divine person, your divine masculine. I might be talking to some divine masculines, that's why. You know, like you could reverse the people, the the roles there. But the divine masculine is really wanting to communicate this, okay? Wanting <clears throat> to communicate that they are strategizing, you know? They are trying to figure out a way to get to the Ten of Pentacles, you know, to some stability, to, yeah, to some stability. Just getting this really strange energy. But anyway, I've been getting really strange energies all day. You know, today is March 12th in the evening here. <clears throat> We've got the hangman. We've got the page of cups. Wow, we've got two pages. This person is not is not feeling super ready, but they have emotion. They have passion. They're just feeling like pages and not oh, We've got the chariot wanting to move forward here. The magician. This person feels, <clears throat> or they do, or they might not, you know, they feel like they could be ready, but they do feel like they would have wanted maybe some more time to be even more ready, but they do realize that they have, they are way more ready than they were, and they do have a lot of resources available. They know more, they're more following their intuition, they have better tools. This could be you, by the way, you know? So if you resonate with that for yourself, then take it, okay? And so <clears throat> this person feels like they do have the tools and they do have the they do have the drive to want to move forward, okay? So they might be offering something small, something small, you know, the little fish in the cup. Yeah. It's okay, though. They might be just be able to just offer, like, friendship or something, you know? Just say, look, you know, let's just be friends and we'll see whatever happens later. And so that could be that. It could be that. You know? It could be that. <clears throat> You'll see.
You'll see. Hmm. Again, I'm getting that weird energy. I don't know what it is. We've got the page of wands again, you guys. So this person is a page, is feeling like a page at, at least. Is not, <clears throat> this person is not feeling, you know, the most confident that they would like to feel in this moment. You know, but they're getting there. But they're just, it, this is in, inside themselves. We've got the Four of Cups. Okay, Four of Cups. Wow, we got the Chariot again. I'm getting that some of you guys are just like, you've moved out of this energy. You've you understand it more, okay? Some of you are still may still be feeling a little bit stuck in the sense that you do still think about this situation. But you are now... Some of you now are not triggered in the same way you used to be by this person. So... You know, whatever this person used to do before, they used to get like right under your skin or you used to react, you used to react to that or used to, you know, you don't, you don't, you know now, you don't do that as much anymore. You already don't, you don't see it that way, you don't, you don't feel it that way, you, you don't care about it that way anymore, you don't, you don't care about, you're not giving it so much energy anymore. You're like, oh, okay. You, you kind of like recognize it for what it is. You're aware of what that is. You're, now you're like, you see it happening and you're like, oh, yeah, that's the trigger. That's the what happens when I feel, it makes me feel like, oh, yeah. So then you're like, you become an observer. You're observing that. You're, you're observing the emotion, the trigger, and you're able to tame it. And you're able to understand that it, it just comes from somewhere. You still might need to go and, and, and see where that comes from. But really, it, it's, it's um, you now see it objectively maybe more. More like, oh, yeah, it's that thing again. Right. It's that again. Oh, and this is what's going to happen later. And now you're even able to predict what's going to happen after. <laughs> okay. So that's what I mean by, you know, you don't care so much anymore. You're like, nah, you know what? You know, I've been there, done that, and I'm good. You know, I appreciate you. You're awesome. But, you know, we're not quite... I feel like some of you, you know, it might, you might not all feel like this, but I feel like for some of you, some of you are trying to move on from this and you're just really feeling like, ah, I recognize the pattern. I'm not, I don't really want to just get back into that. Although I, I really do love this person, but, um, I'll always love this person anyway. So it's just like, you know, I kind of have to get on with it. Right. And you, because you've been waiting, Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting. You've been waiting, waiting, and waiting. You've, you've sown the seeds, you guys. You've sown the seeds. <clears throat> and you've been waiting for this thing to happen. And you've just been in waiting. And so now you're like, ah, oh. you're kind of like sick of it, you know? You're kind of like, oh, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm just going to do my thing and whatever. You know, you're kind of like, you're, you, you're waiting. See that? You know, there's a, there's a feeling of exasperation, but not a negative exasperation, more like a surrendering with love and compassion and not really, there's no, I don't feel any animosity. I feel more like a, 
just a surrender to what is, a peaceful surrender, and it's just like, all right, then, you know, I want you to be happy, and that's it, you know, that's, that's the main thing. Um, I just feel that for some of you, it's like that. I feel like some of you have chosen that, so might not be for all of you, so as I said, you know, and then time, there's no, right, it's timeless. Hey, uh, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm thinking, well, I did start a new channel. I, I'm not going to tell you the name of it yet. It's going to be the English one, you know, so I'm just going to try to do English and French. You know, so Sandy Tarot would be French and then the other one would be English. It's not going to be for now and I'm going to keep the English in both, you know, for a while. And I have to start small anyway, so there'll only be tiny 15-minute readings on my other channel. I just need the time to just get that going. So I got like halfway through it. I just needed like the channel art. And then I just don't want to lose anybody here <laughs> with my Sandy Tarot. So I'm still going to do the English one, so not to worry. Although they're not seen a lot. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I don't know how to get that going. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. I still enjoy them. Okay, I'm going to stop talking and read one last shuffle for the collective Twin Flame Soulmate. <clears throat> Masculine what does want to talk. Just want to talk here. We've got pages. We've got offers, small offers. So... We've got someone not feeling quite ready, but, you know, moon, moon. King of Cups. Beautiful. Four of Wands. It's just beautiful. We've got Divine Feminine Energy here. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this person wants to work on this. This person wants to work on this new commitment that they do love you, they have. They don't know where this is going. They don't know, they've kind of accepted that they won't know right now where this is going, but they do want to work on this. For many of you, your person wants to work on this. See, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, working on this new commitment right here. For some of you, it could be marriage, it could be an engagement. For others, it could just be starting to date exclusively and, and, and then trying to be serious because there may be children involved here with the Four of Wands. And so it is kind of a serious thing if there are kids involved. So we're going, you know, we're, we're not... This is why sometimes this person gets worried because sometimes they do think about the children, if there are children for some of you that are... Um, so they don't know what this could mean, you know. So, but they are willing to work on this. So for... A good many of you, they're, they're, you know, yeah, wanting to work on this. Okay. <clears throat> no messages, please. Twin Flame, Third Party, and we've got Cycles. Okay, so something ended in the fall. Something happened in the fall. Um, in the fall, there was twin flame recognition, okay? 
in the fall, something happened and there was a twin flame recognition. Okay? It was like a tower moment or something happened and someone just realized that this was very special, a very special bond, that there was a very special bond. Okay? We have third party. So we do have someone that had to end something. So either they had to end another relationship or they had to end some kind of an, ad an addiction or a way of thinking or a way of living and you know, like some kind of a habit or just something that wasn't benefiting them anymore. And so they have, so whatever the third party is, it doesn't necessarily have to be, it could be friends. It could be a circle of friends that are just toxic, that are not good influences, that are not, uh, that don't have your person in their best interest. You know, you're like, they don't have the best interest of that person. Okay, anyway, so here we have endings of cycles. We have cycles here. And, you know, your person had to go through something, or you had to go through something. It just had, it was necessary. We learn a lot of lessons from a lot of even toxic situations because that's where we get our strength. It's where we fight, you know, to leave toxic situations. We fight, it's self-love, it's self-preservation, it's realizing what you deserve and, you know, realizing what you truly deserve and that has to do with your self-worth you know hmm. oh this is getting to be a long video sorry you guys i'm going fast okay i'm just going to pull out three cards from here i'm getting three and then I'll pull out one of my cards just to end the reading, okay? Three cards from here and then one of my personal, my personal cards. So, <clears throat> three cards from here, please. Three. And so we have free yourself, okay? It's time to take back control of your life. So if you guys were stuck or feeling stuck in this situation, feeling like, oh my God, this is not moving. You really need to just move out of that energy. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So if you're feeling stuck in this situation and it's not moving along, don't be closed off to other opportunities. You know, there are, are other great people out there calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I'm getting that maybe for some of you, a new person might come along. This is soulmate energy. So it might be somebody that is just going to click with and um, you'll be able to kind of free yourself <clears throat> From this energy, even for a little while, I don't know, I'm getting that it's soulmate energy. This might last for a while if this is someone new coming in. Um, it could also be that once you, you know, once you do let go, once you, you let go, once you free yourself, okay? Once you decide that you're not just so, going to just focus so much on this, all right? then this will be coming in. So it could be your person, or it could be someone new, but this will be coming in, okay? Sorry, my cat. Yeah, what? I'm almost done. Okay, so we've got that. So some of you might have to just let go. It's when you let go that things just kind of happen when you have faith that just let it flow. Let things flow the way they're supposed to flow. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying the message is to free yourself, you know? Okay, one last message.
I have so much to tell you. There could be communication, as I said, we have three pages. We have communication, we have twice the chariot, you know. This person wants to tell you something. They have a lot to tell you. They probably want to come in and explain how they've been feeling. That could happen. You got pages, communication. Communication coming through possibly for many of you, I don't know. We're gonna check back again in a couple of days. Um, mm -hmm. But in the communication arena, things should be getting easier. Like you guys, if you're already communicating, the communication should continue. Kind of, you know what I mean? Like less of the huge uh, communication gaps, I guess. All right. So let me know. Let me know how this resonated. All right. And thanks again for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll be back soon with another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.